In this video, let's take a look at side nav in Angular Material. The first step, as always, is to import the module. So in material.module.ts, import mat side nav module and add it to the material array. Now we can add the side nav to our application. To set up a side nav, we use three components. The first one is mat side nav container, which acts as a container to the side nav as well as the main content. Within the container, we have mat side nav, which represents the side content. And then we have mat side nav content, which represents the main content. It is important that the site content and the main content are placed within the container. If you don't want some elements to be affected by this container, for example, header and footer, you can place them outside the site nav container. All right, if we now save the file and take a look at the browser, the output is not quite what we expect. We can see the main content, but the side nav is not seen. Let me tell you that this is the expected behavior. Side nav is always hidden by default. There are a couple of ways to open or show the side nav. The simplest way is to add the opened attribute on the mat side nav component. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see the side nav as well. The UI though is not clear, so let me add some basic styling. Back in VS Code in app.component.css, I'm going to add mat side nav container has a height of 100%, mat side nav and mat side nav content. Let's add some padding. And finally, just for the side nav, I'm going to add a background color, light coral, and a width of 200 pixels. If we now take a look at the browser, it is much more clear. The side nav appears like an overlay on the main content, and when I click outside the side nav, it closes and we can see the main content. Now, once we close it though, there is no way to open it again. So rather than setting the opened attribute, like here, let's bind it to a property which we can then control using a button. We will be using two-way binding. So the first step is to import the forms module in app module. So open app.module.ts. import forms module and add it to the imports array. Now let's go back to two-way binding. In app.component.ts, which is the component class, I'm going to create a new property called opened and set it to false. Next in the HTML, bind the opened attribute to the opened property and create a button that will toggle the opened property value. So for two-way binding, we use banana in a box syntax. So square brackets, parentheses, and close it. Now this is going to be equal to the property we just created, opened. Next, as part of the main content, I'm going to add a button. The text is going to be toggle opened, and on click of this button, so click handler, we simply toggle the open value. Opened is equal to not of opened. If you now save the files and take a look at the browser, the side nav should be initially hidden because we have initialized it to false. I click on the button and the side nav is shown. Click outside the side nav and it automatically hides. So this is the first method to show or hide the side nav. Before we take a look at the next method, I want to quickly show you the different modes that can be applied to a side nav. 
The mode for a side nav can be specified using the mode attribute on the mat side nav component. The default mode is over. Mode is equal to over. And this is the mode we have seen so far. If you go back to the browser, you can see that there is no change from what we have already seen. The side nav floats over the main content, which is covered by a backdrop. The second possible value for the mode attribute is push. So I'm going to change over to push. Let's see how this works in the browser. I click on the button. The side nav appears, but this time the side nav pushes the primary content out of its way, covering it with a backdrop. Now the final possible mode is side. So mode is equal to side. In this mode, the side nav appears side by side with the main content, shrinking the main content's width to make space for the side nav. So the three possible modes are over, push and side. I'm going to stick with side for the rest of this video. Now back to opening and closing the side nav. We have seen the first method which is using the opened attribute. The second way to open or close the side nav is by invoking the open or close methods on the side nav itself. For this method, I will create a template reference variable on the mat side nav component. Hash symbol and side nav. Now I can create two buttons that will call the open and close methods on this template reference variable. Button open. On click, it is going to call sidenav.open. Similarly, button close. On click, sidenav.close. Let's save this file and go back to the browser. I click on open and the side nav opens. I click on close and the side nav closes. So this is the second method. The third method is to simply toggle the side nav by calling the toggle method. This is also the approach you might want to take when you have a hamburger icon for example. I will create another button in the main content and the text is going to be toggle. On click of this button, I simply call the toggle method on the side nav reference variable sidenav.toggle. If I now go back to the browser, click on the toggle button, it opens, I click again, it closes. So these are the three methods. And if at all you want to perform some action on open or close of the side nav, you can listen to the opened and closed events. Now back in VS Code in app.component.ts, I am going to create a method called log, which accepts a parameter called state and simply logs that to the console. Now in the HTML, we can listen to opened and closed events and call our log method passing in the appropriate value. So on mat side nav, Listen to opened event and call the log method passing in the string opened. Similarly, on the closed event, call the method passing in the string closed. If we now head back to the browser, open DevTools, click on toggle, you should see the message opened, toggle again you should see the message closed. Now I am simply logging a message, but you can perform any action that seems fit for your application. So that is about the side nav in Angular Material. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.